Hey, you made it back. Guess what? So today, I'm going to be building the dishes for a 2021 kickoff collab with one big happy family. Um, and part of the dish, one of three that I'm going to be eating, is risotto. Now, this is a basic Parmesan risotto. This is how I made it. Look at that. Is that nice? I know you're going to enjoy it. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Shaw Shara. That is the best elevated music I ever heard. All right, so for the first part of this recipe, uh, we need to prep the risotto. So what we have here is one cup of barrio rice, risotto rice, and two cups of chicken stock. Now on the stove, I have a pot of water boiling. I'm not seasoning it because the chicken stock is gonna be our seasoning. All right, let's add this to the water. All right, so let's add our chicken stock. Okay. Now let's add our rice. All right. Now we're gonna let this go. We're gonna let this cook about five and a half to six minutes okay okay so time's up so now we're going to turn the heat off where we are now going to strain this and once we strain it we're going to put it on a greased um bacon sheet a cookie sheet bacon tray whatever you want to call it so it can cool down all right so let's get this spread out so it can cool all the flavors and the seasonings that are already in the chicken broth. The rice has absorbed absorbed a lot of it. So that's going to help out with the flavor profile. Let's get this nice and spread out so it can cool. Now, when this cools, um, we put it in the fridge so you can chill it until it's time for you to use it. Okay? And by parboiling it, what happens is instead of taking, you know, 25, 20, 25 minutes to make risotto, and this will fast track it where you can make it between five and seven minutes. Okay? Just gotta prep ahead. That's all you gotta do. Alright, so this is ready, we'll let this cool down. And once it's cooled, now we have to wait till uh, dinner time to cook the rice. Okay, so for our, to finish off the risotto, what we're gonna need, some scallions, got a couple of tablespoons of scallions here, um, a teaspoon of black pepper, about a teaspoon of white pepper, right? Got about a tablespoon of olive oil, three tablespoons of butter, right? You got about three ounces or just over a uh, quarter of a cup, close to half a cup, actually, of white wine, white cooking wine. And then we got about three ounces of Parmesan cheese. Of course, we have our rice that's chilled and our chicken broth here. So let's get the chicken broth. Let's get that percolating so we can start doing the result. And also, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of garlic, right? Let me get that garlic flavor in there. Okay, so you can see our chicken broth is boiling now. Let's turn the heat on this pan here. Get it on medium. Let's get our olive oil in it. So the olive oil can heat up. So we can saute the veggies here. Let that they get around and the olive oil heats up and we can take it. Let's add our shallots. And with the shallots, all you're really doing is just warming them through, right? 
You're not trying to give them any color. Just warm them through. And because of that, you can add your garlic as well. Now we're going to add our rice. Okay, give us about another 30 seconds, man. Maybe 15 seconds. And our rice. Our rice in. Let me get a little more oil. I think I need more. Because you want the rice to be covered in like a slight coat of oil. You know, for best results, every grade, a little bit of oil. Now remember, this rice has been parboiled, right? So for the most part, it's already halfway done cooking, even more so. So let's get this warm through, almost toasted, but not toasted. Let's warm through. I mean, this is not rice aroni, but. Let's get it warm through. All right, now at this point, we're going to take a ladle of our broth and add it. A couple ladles, three ladles to start. And mix that in. And now when this broth is just about evaporated, we're gonna add more. And you gotta keep doing this until your rice is cooked. And in regards to the broth, you never wanna add cold broth to a risotto. Always hot boiling broth, right? Because you don't want to slow down the cooking process. You know, if you do, you're going to have a bad day. So keep it hot, keep it percolating. All right, let me add some more broth. Another few ladles. All right, now at this point, I'm going to add my salt and pepper. Add my pepper in, right? Add my salt. And now I'm actually going to add, well, once this broth goes down, I'll add the next ingredient. Let it go down. About another two minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, now what we want to do is add our white cooking wine. There we go. 
let's get this started in and let this go for about three minutes make sure we cook all the alcohol out I'm not trying to have any drunk people around here now and let, let this cook down few minutes and we'll be right back okay so now this is just your basic risotto right your basic parmesan risotto and once the rice gets done we'll add parmesan and butter to it to finish it off let me try a little bit see if it's good Couple more minutes and we'd be solid. Let me add another ladle of broth, ladle and a half. All right, give this another minute and then we're gonna add cheese. All right, turn it down to medium low. Now let's add cheese. And you can add as little or as much cheese as you want, really. It's completely up to you, right? And your flavor profile. Just mix in. Get the cheese melted. Now we're actually going to turn off the heat. Okay? As we melt this cheese. And now to give, me that, give it that creaminess, let's add our butter. Okay, add a knob of butter to it. Melt this butter in. And there we go, this risotto is done. Right, let's plate it up. Bad boy up. Get a ladle here. Nice, cheesy. Good to go. Oh yeah. Because of the dish, we're gonna give it a garnish. Have a little bit of spinach, just like that, and there we have it. Look at that, beautiful. If you like the recipe, hey, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Hey, try it for yourself. Let me know how it turns out. This is Straw Straw, and I'm out.